Hey there everyone, I'm Troy. I'm Lauren. And we are here for today's Valentine's special. Uh, it's February 14th, 2022, and we are here to sum up, wrap up uh, Valentine's theme that we had going on here this month, a couple weeks back. I put a video out requesting stories about compassion. And in honor of Valentine's Day, in honor of our caregivers that are continually showing compassion, we received some stories from some different Home at Heart caregivers and office staff sharing about uh, compassion that they've witnessed. And we wanted to share some of those stories here today. Uh, first of all, one came in from Victoria here. She had shared that she had felt so much compassion and support from her friends. She had been going through a lot of tough times lately and she's had several of her friends and loved ones who've come alongside of her and expressed compassion by helping her with household responsibilities, meals, talking, and just being there while she cried. And she was, they were there for her in her time of need and she'll be forever grateful uh, for their compassion. And that's a great example of what compassion is, being there for someone when they're going through tough times. Uh, another story that came in here was about a Home and Heart team member who, was, who saw a dog that was chained to a tree it had been neglected, it had sores, and it was it was really a run down. And so she talked to the owner and did an adoption. And she took the dog home, it received some vet care, and um, was healed up and healthy and happy. And that's a great story about having compassion on, on our pets as well. It's a great example. And then one of our caregivers, Kayla, she was out on a missions trip to Africa. And I've been on several mission trips, as you have as well. And it is amazing how when you go to another country and you can see their culture and see how different they, um, different they view the world, but also uh, situations, their situations in some countries are, are very lean, they have very little. Um, but oftentimes, some of the, the people who come from, who live in, in poorer countries, are very thankful for what they have. That's what I've witnessed. And Kayla shared that she went on a missions trip uh, to Africa and she was at an orphanage and helped uh, the feed the children and teach them about God and about his love. And there was it was a life-changing experience for her. Uh, she saw the many people that were there who were starving and, um, and she felt compassion. She was moved there and uh, she actually Going there and witnessing it for herself gave her first-hand experience of what needs are in, in other countries. And she sent a picture, and we'll post it here, of a, of a well that was dug to be a blessing to the families uh, that they ministered to in Africa. And so those are three stories I have. Do you have any yep. there to share? We received one here from Herbert uh, talking about how you know a young man that he knew was on his way home uh, from school and had noticed somebody was lying on the porch and um, had mentioned to the bus driver to stop so he could check on them and um, come to find out it was a medical emergency and um, he was he did the right thing by just pointing something out when it would have been easy to just look right over that um, so if something's ever tugging at your heart or doesn't feel doesn't feel right then definitely look into it yeah when you recognize that need mm -hmm. of someone who who could use uh, someone to check in on them yeah that's a great yeah way of so that compassion. was really neat um, also, Jasmine had sent in, you know, just even thinking in her own in her own life when when you're upset or um, when you're working really hard at a task and, and you're putting all all you have into it, uh, just being you know acknowledged about the hard work and um, also just reaching out to people and if they're upset, just asking them you know what's wrong or if they just need to talk or anything that you can help them out too. Um, but definitely making sure too to just compliment people when when a compliments do. Um, we also received one. Um, that our Home and Heart team had seen from the caregiver, um, Myrna. She was just um, faithful in providing services to um, clients, but kind of going above and beyond too. She had a um, she had a client whose water had ran out or the water supply was broken, and every time she went over, was able to bring a couple gallons of water over there to them. And, um, then would take the empties back for refills and just went above and beyond showing compassion for this this client in the, their time of need. Yeah, and those are all stories of compassion. Just going, that's part of what it is, like you said, going above and beyond, doing more than average, more than the minimum in order to show 
extra care for someone. Compassion, it starts out with a feeling that we feel in us. We're moved because we see a hurt. Uh, we have empathy for them. But then the next action. step of compassion is an action yep. step, which we, we do what we can to be a blessing to others. And we're seeing here amongst our home and heart caregivers many examples of compassion, and we, we are so thankful for the caregiving crew that we have here at Home at Heart continuing to serve and to care for their clients well, putting the Home at Heart values, trust, compassion, hospitality, and responsibility, putting those values into action is uh, such a blessing and what sets us apart from all the other agencies that are out there. So we're so thankful and everyone that participated here yeah, will have a you. gift coming to you and appreciate your involvement in this, making this a uh, February and Valentine's Day a great success. And so thanks again for sharing, thanks for watching. We have big announcements coming up here on the next video, so make sure you stay tuned and we'll get those sent out here soon. Uh, thanks again.